Midlife is often portrayed as a crisis, a time of angst affecting our self-identity and self-confidence and leading to changes in moods, behaviors, emotions, or relationships as we cope. But what if we reframed midlife as a time of spiritual awakening rather than a crisis? Barbara Sher says midlife is a transition into a better existence, and I tend to agree with her. This period in my life has been some of the best years. Whether we call it mid-age, middle age, or midlife, but it's when the kids are gone and when we start considering other things other than full-time work. But before we're truly old, it's our 50s and 60s, maybe some 40s, maybe a little 70s. In many traditional societies, the uh, midlife transition is actually seen as a rite of passage. <laughs> Imagine that. A time to let go of our younger selves and embrace our wisdom and experience. It's time to take stock of our lives and make the necessary changes. Not get stuck in this continual perpetual rut we're in. But it's not because we're in a crisis. It's simply a natural part of our human journey. We begin looking at things differently and thinking of things differently and asking different questions. Where am I going? Did I do it right the first time? How do I want to do it differently than this time? What's ahead? What are my greatest fears? And then deep questions like, really, what do I want in my future and what do I not want in my future anymore? It's these kind of questions that will help prepare us for this next chapter. But contrast this with the way midlife is often portrayed in Western culture. We're told that it's a time of crisis and that any feelings we have will pass and don't upset the apple cart. On one hand, we're told we're about to become obsolete and irrelevant. And on the other hand, we're told just to grin and bear it. But what if we let go of this idea of midlife as a crisis and instead saw it as a time of spiritual awakening? A time to connect more deeply with ourselves and what truly matters to us. A time to let go of expectations of others and limitations placed on us by society and embrace our own unique path. It's not a fucking crisis. It's an opportunity for growth, self-discovery, and spiritual awakening. Embrace it and you'll find that midlife can be one of the most rewarding and fulfilling times of your life.